Hello nieces and nieces, how are you today? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk fragrances, but normally over here in Nisa's Nation, it's either fragrance or other things. So if you're interested in talking about some of the upcoming 2023 releases on fragrances, please stay tuned. <music> things to talk about um and it's all things new all right so um it's quite a few fragrances i know there are like over 10 fragrances that are due to be released soon or have already been released in some part of the world some of these fragrances as i did my research i discovered that some of them were released in other places like the day before the days before christmas or a few days after a lot of times in the u.s because a lot of fragrances are you know international we may not get things until a later date or vice versa so the seven fragrances that i um am intrigued by and I want to discover and or have discovered are um, the Smoke Cherry by Tom Ford, the Cherry Electric by Tom Ford, the La Petite Rose Nayor Rose Cherry by Guerlain, the La Nuits Treasure Flower by Nuits by Lancome, long name, Blue Moon by Killian and the Blue Moon by Killian is part of the collection of the Apple Brandy and the Angel Shares that come in the beveled glass looking jar. Very pretty with a blue hue to it. Also one by Replica um, that is called On a Date. And another one by YSL that is called um, Opium La Parfum. And this is supposed to be like a coffee fragrance. It has white flowers and coffee and the fragrances and if you have not checked out my video if you would please click the card above and go and check out my must-have coffee fragrances so i did do a polling on my youtube community wall but i only included five of the seven fragrances i included smoke cherry cherry electric the um rose cherry by guerlain the um treasure by Lancome and the Blue Moon by Killian and surprise well not surprisingly but I was really expecting Tom Ford to get more votes but um the Blue Moon by Killian it ranked out at 32 percent so amongst the people in Easton's Nation that voted the Smoke Cherry was 27 percent the Electric Cherry is 23 percent the um Cherry Rose Cherry by Guerlain was only 9%. The Lancome was 8% and the Killian Blue Moon was 32%, you guys. So I want to thank you whenever you support and participate with me um, on my pages, whether it be Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube. I appreciate you. So thank you very much. I also provided a little information to you about the YSL Opium Um fragrance the La Parfum that is going to be released and I've done some coverage on the Tom Ford fragrance so luckily your girl she could not resist it well I could have but I didn't want to resist it so I went into sex and I did make a purchase you guys now you know I own Tom Ford's Lost Cherry I've had it in my collection about three years now and it is it's like a new bottle. I've only worn it a couple of times. It's just something in that fragrance that I have to be in the right sinus zone and in the right mood to even enjoy the fragrance. It is something about it that just does not agree with my nose palette. So I was really excited to see these because cherry is one of my favorite fragrances. Not so much so in body care, but like perfumes, room sprays, if I could find a cherry candle, car fresheners, cherry is just my scent. I really like cherry. So I went into Saks. This is a Tom Ford bag, but it did come from Saks. So I went into Saks and um, I made a purchase. Okay, so this is from Tom Ford's private collection. I currently have two fragrances, well now three, from their private collection. 
and I normally buy 30 mils because Tom Ford is just one of those fragrances. I think the ones that I venture out and get and I pick, they're just so beast mode and just fragrantly overwhelming till I have to really contemplate how I'm going to apply these fragrances because I'm still trying to find my way with Lost Cherry. I'm not going to get rid of it because it is such a well-liked fragrance and I'm just thinking over time that I will enjoy it. Um, I hope it doesn't go bad because I'm counting it's three years and counting that I've had it. But um, there are fragrances, they come in like four sizes. You can get a 10 mil, which is like the travel size, the 30 mil, the 50 mil, and a um, 100 mil. Sax, I've never seen a 30 mil in Saks. The 30 mils that I do have, they either came directly from Tom Ford. Yeah, no. One came from Tom Ford, one came from Sephora. But you can find the 30 mils on Sephora. And I did make a post of that on my Instagram page because after getting one of these and playing around with it, you know me, I wanted more. So, <laughs> all right. So, um, the one that I did decide to purchase was the Electric Cherry. So this is not a detailed, in-depth review. I have not had the fragrance or experienced the fragrance long enough to fairly give this a detailed review. I can only provide to you my initial thoughts on the fragrance. So I did get this information straight from Tom Ford's site. I'm not against Fragantica. I do think Fragantica has its pros and cons, but I do believe that companies tend to hold back um, to try to keep things discreet because I do think that there are specialists or scientists out there that can take a fragrance and break it down to the smallest molecule. And um, there are times where the brand did not say that this was in a fragrance, but me knowing fragrance, and this is such a hobby and almost a way of life for me, I have agreed with Fragantica. Like, yes, this is in that, but the company doesn't say it. So I'm going to show all respect to Tom Ford and their brand. And um, this is the description as well as the fragrance notes. So the description says it's an electric cherry merges the scent of Morello cherry with the warmth of musk and sultry jasmine, invoking a teasing flirt sparkling with playful effervescence. They gave it a really good description. So the key fragrance notes are Morello Cherry, Jasmine Sambach, and Amber Tyloids. And Amber Tyloids, that is some musk. And you know that musk are synthetic fragrances. It's not like a pressed rose oil or jasmine oil. It's a molecule that they created. So um, what got me is when one of my fellow content creators, her name is Tracy, she, Tracy's World, I think. She does a lot on Bath and Body Works and fragrances, period. She um, showed the fragrance notes and I saw that it had Jasmine Sambach in it. And Jasmine Sambach is one of my favorite fragrance notes. So this right here is the 50 mil. Um, so this was a purchase from um, Saks. You can find this on Tom Ford online. And I have discovered that um, Sephora has it already on their site as well. So they, Sephora carries theirs in a 50 or 30 mil. So that's great because Saks did not have the 30 mil because I know I would have bought the 30 mil. But I went ahead and I got this one. And this is the Electric Cherry. It comes in the, the very um, iconic looking silhouette statute bottle. I do really like this private blend bottle. It just puts me in the mind of some type of column. It just looks prestigious to me. So I really do like this bottle. Um, when I initially went in store, they had them both sitting right there. So you was able to sample them both. And sampling in a store, um, there are times where I have sampled fragrances and I really like them at hello, like at first sniff. 
And um, there are times where things grow on me. There are times where I get things. I thought I liked it at hello. I get home after a couple of weeks. I'm like, this is not for me. So I, um, I caught myself doing an unboxing on yesterday. It did not film properly. So I'm sorry about that. But this right here, I wore it today. Um, I applied my fragrance probably around 10 o'clock. Um, I could smell this fragrance just idly smelling it for probably about two hours. Just two hours. When I say idly smelling it, that means I don't have to do this. I can just smell it if I take it in. I can smell it. So it's um nice. It's a very spring forward, soft, floral-like cherry to me. It does have that effervescent that they described in it. And I don't know if a Merlot cherry is like a bitter type cherry. I'm not really sure about that. But it does have this sweetness, bitterness to it. You know how something can be sweet, but at the same time, it could be a little bitter. So you do get that. Um, here I am now. It's probably about six o'clock in the evening. And I can still, it's not six o'clock, it's almost five o'clock. I can still smell remnants of this fragrance on my skin when I make nose to um, skin contact. I can smell it. I can smell it in this t-shirt. So Tupac smells like electric cherry. So um, I did apply it moderately. Um, I did not put like an oil or baser on. I don't really do that when I'm first trying to experience something. So I didn't do that. So. With that being said, so far I'm getting about um, an hour of projection, meaning that I can just idly smell it. And so far, the longevity is standing up to like four hours. So, what do you mean? 10, 11, 12, about six hours. So, four to six hours because it was like 10 o'clock when I got dressed. So, um, so far, I'm like an electric cherry. If you are interested in a more detailed review, that just takes some time. Um, you really have to give yourself time. You have to experience it in different situations. And I'll bring a video soon. Um, well, not soon, but in due okay, time. So this is the smoke cherry and they did give me a two meal sample. So they gifted me this sample. Thank you again. Um, the description that Tom Ford provides is an experienced hedonist, hedonist, cherry smoke plays with fire, bursting with the scent of dark cherry, ignited by seductive osmathis and smoldering smoke woods. Very good description. All right, so the key fragrance notes in here, according to Tom Ford, are dark cherry flavors, osmathis, Absolute China and Cypher Oil India. I don't know what neither one of those are, you guys. <laughs> so um, the reason that I chose the smoke over the electric is because this has more of a deep, dark, smoky, like resinous note. The same as the Lost Cherry, but it's not the same fragrance, you guys. If I had to choose between Lost Cherry or Smoked Cherry, if I had that choice now, I would have chosen to buy the Smoked Cherry over the Lost Cherry. But I am now glad that I have two now in my collection. And I do want to add this one because it is a fragrance of its own. With wearing this, it you get that cherry smokiness. But the smokiness that you get is more of like an incense smoke, in my opinion. It's not like a, I wouldn't say that it's like, I guess it, I wouldn't say that it's like a tobacco or cigar smoke, but it does give me an incense, you know, and some fragrances do have that incense note in it. So it gives me that type of smokiness. Um, what I do like about this as well, even with this being a more darker fragrance or heavier fragrance, I do see this being very spring and summer forward, especially in an evening situation or like a date night situation. This is more unisex favorable, in my opinion, than the electric cherry. The electric cherry is not so 
soft that a gentleman couldn't wear it. But I do think that this leans more to a female. And this one leans... It's kind of even to me, honestly. I really like this as a female. So I don't want to put a gender factor on it. But you wouldn't believe the comments or the questions that I get in my DM or my comments on just that question alone. Because that's important to some people. But um, if I had to get my husband and myself dressed, I would definitely have them to him to wear this smoke cherry. And I wear the electric cherry. Um, the electric cherry, it smelled really good on my skin, even with testing one over the other, like having this one here and having the other one here, this out, um, projects the electric cherry. And that's not a bad thing. That's just what it does. This is a more heavier, deeper, deeper projecting fragrance. And some people need those type of fragrances on their skin for whatever, reason or how their body chemistry is made me myself um i wear very soft pretty floral skin scents really well skin scents just work for me and some people they have to have more of a woody oily resinous scent and that works for them like i said i do want to eventually add this one to my collection because it's good i like it so hopefully by the time I come back and I do a review, I will have the both of them and we'll have another conversation on how or what I feel about them um, or comparing all three of them, the Lost Cherry, the Electric Cherry, and the Smoke Cherry. The way I do things, I really try my best to really experience the fragrance because I don't like giving... Um, unfair reviews you know because things change over a period of time and sometimes you know you do a review and you feel like I gotta come back and let the people know how I feel whether it is different the same or different in a good or bad way so again I thank you for coming back to the channel please leave any questions below please leave um, comments if you have purchased these fragrance if you have gone in store to experience these fragrance or any other fragrances that we are anticipating to be released or have just newly been released. And do not forget you. Yes, you. You are great. Bye-bye.